Alright, hey yo guys, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another one of these Brain Arts review. Look at Thingma Bob's to make. Alright, so here we're taking a look at King Mickey. Brain Arts, King Ar Kingdom Hearts 3, King Mickey. This is called King Mickey, so. So this is called King Mickey, but on website description, this is labeled just as the king. Don't know what the deal was that. Don't know what the actual name for this figure is, so. Because it's called one thing in the official product description, it's called a different thing on the actual box, so I don't know what the fuck Square Enix is doing right now, so who knows what the fuck. So hey, so this is based on his appearance in Kingdom Hearts 3, where he finally gets rid of those shitty ass clothes he's been wearing for three games now. He gets fucking cool new hip no more design clothes, because those designs are way more cool than his old design. So hey, first off, let's take a look at the box. So, first off, the box, you can see it's the same old, basic, generic Kingdom Hearts box they've been using for all the figures. Kingdom Hearts 3, King Mickey... I um, guess that's his name in Japanese, the king, or probably Brain Arts. Side of the box just shows you all the symbol. Back of the box show you, hey, here's cool figure. Hey, remember this pose? He did this pose in one of the games. So, hey, shout out to that pose. They're like, oh, they're like, hey, do you remember that pose? I think he did that pose at some point in the game. I don't fucking remember. Uh, side of the box symbols. Top of the box just shows you with the panel. So, yeah. Pretty much, oh, God. Jesus Christ. Pretty much basic Square Enix box design. So, nothing much to say about the box design. So, so now if I, let's actually take a look at the actual figure now. Alright, so here is Mickey himself right out of the box. And before we take a look at the actual figure, you guys always know how we do on this channel. If you guys don't know how we always do on this channel, we always take a look at the accessory the figure comes with first. And the figure comes with quite a bit of accessories. A few amount, but not a lot. So first off, he comes with his keyblade. The keyblade he gets in Kingdom Hearts 3. I think the official name for this thing is Star Cluster now. I don't know where the fuck that came with. Like, it's based on like a some Square Enix product design or some shit, but it's never named in game. The only time this is officially named is in the Ultimate Mini, which I believe takes higher precedence over any merchandising. So as far as I'm concerned, this shit is called Kingdom Key W. So comes with the Kingdom Key W up. So hey, fun. So hey, Square Enix finally learned that to put actual fucking chains on Keyblade. So for like, so like for the entire Kingdom Hearts Ring Arts line up to this point, he's just been giving a shitty plastic hard plastic but now they're actually putting actual shit i guess it's because it's mickey mouse it's disney told hey put put actual fucking details into our products featuring mickey mouse fuck all those kingdom hearts characters they don't deserve shit so hey we got an actual chain for mickey's keyblade so that's a thing so hey here's the kingdom key w uh, pretty nice it's a pretty much a combination of the kingdom key d he had an um star seeker where the fuck the original star keyblade was called so hey nice design here's some stars and moons and crests or whatever the fuck i don't know and everything so pretty good i like this keyblade uh disappointed that he does not come with the kingdom key d his first key that he used for like one gameplay segment don't know why they didn't bother to throw that in with this with this figure because all it, all because it literally was just a reskin of sora's uh, kingdom key maybe if you had if you have an extra kingdom key layer you could just repaint it to the kingdom key d i guess you know but yeah, so he just comes with one key. Like, I'm disappointed about that. That he doesn't come with the Kingdom Key D. Uh, next, he comes with an angry face. So, just so he could oppress all Hong Kong protesters and appeal to China's mass market. So, there you go. So, he comes with this angry face. Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He comes with this happy face this happy face where he's like oh boy time to take chinese money after they oppress all hong kong protester this is video this will show how dated this video is by the time you watch this if that topic is still relevant enough next uh then he comes with a uh, two extra pairs of hands so base size is he comes with two hands to hold the key but i don't want to take them out of their stand because it's such a fucking bother and he comes with two open not jazz hands it's really disappointing these are not jazz hands they're just open hands which is really sad then the other accessory which I should probably just mention was that his tail that he came with which I already put on the figure because it will look really weird as the table turned around and show what at the tail by the way putting that tail on this figure was all putting on this figure was a fucking pain in the ass because apparently the tail did not want to stay in his goddamn ass so I had to take literally take apart the figure just to get the tail in there so that so that was the thing I had to dealt with off screen so hey but we got his tail so he comes with a tail that's an accessory I guess you know I, I guess we call that an accessory. So enough about these lackluster accessories. Let's actually take a look at the actual figure now. All right, so here is Mickey himself now. So first off, let's take a look at his sculpt. Hey, he's Mickey Mouse. I don't know how you can mess up with this. He has three circles for a face. There you go, happy face. Uh, neck. Oh god, this camera is too is too short. Let me move it up a little. All right. Um, he has somewhat no neck articulation. He 
he could spin the center. He cannot move his head up and down. That is really sad. This one arms. He has arm articulation. Only, so there you go. You'd be like, ew, oh boy, oh boy, it's me, Mickey Mouse. I don't know how to fuck to do Mickey Mouse voice, so I'm not gonna attempt to do it. Legs, um, legs. Yeah, he can move his legs. So his, he could somewhat move his knee. It's very hard. I don't know. It looks like he can move his knee, but not really. It looks, it looks like they're supposed to be joint for him to move his place for you to move but it doesn't really look like it so you're not getting a lot of leg articulation from him there's really not a lot of articul articulation points for him he has a waist joint so that's a thing so that's pretty good he has big ass shoes because he's mickey mouse so yeah his knee toe ankle where the fuck this part of the body i still don't know fucking know can swivel around so there you go so then yeah so pretty much he moves and then there's his tail his tail is stuck you don't have a lot of articulation with the tail. You just swivel back and forth. You can't even put it down, honestly, because of his jacket gets in the way. That kind of sucks. So enough about his. his like, let's take a look at his actual coloring design. So yeah, hey, he looks like Mickey Mouse. This is what I imagine Mickey Mouse looks like. So yeah, and then he has this new cool Kingdom Hearts three outfit where Nomura says plaid is in, belts and zippers are for losers and nerds now. So there you go. Oh, he wears a shirt. Oh god, his arm. Oh god, I caught his arm falling off. So hey, here's this cool jacket. Love this jacket. That this jacket design is super cool. Uh, his hoodie is just one big plastic bit. You can't remove it. You can't wear it or anything. So this is just stuck. It doesn't even look like his ears. It's like rabbit ear for some reason. That's really weird. I just realized that. So yeah. So hey, he has this cool new Kingdom Hearts three up, which I really dig. Way better than his Kingdom Hearts one and two design, which would look really fucking, really look really fucking crazy and wild. But I love this design. It's streamlined. It's modern. It's hip. It's cool. It's new Nomura style. So that's pretty fucking great. All right, so yeah, what are my final thoughts about Brain Arts King Mickey, aka the King, aka whatever this official figure's name is? It's cool. Um, I'm not a real big fan of it. It's really fucking small because, of course, it's King Mickey, and it still costs the same as an actual Brain Arts figure like Sora, Riku, Kari, or any Moss any Tato. I don't think the scale and sizing it can adjust for the price point. It's unneededly expensive also I thought also hey quick redaction to what I thought said earlier so I thought how King Mickey's uh, Mickey was the first uh, character with an actual chain for for the key but I was wrong. it turns out Riku actually has an actual chain for his figure I did not realize I thought Riku had a giant plastic bit for his chain like Sora did so I was a fool what a foolish fool I was but Sora still stuck with his garbage plastic chain for his key like laugh and point at Sora honestly for having a plastic key but anyway yeah so this figure you're not sure how it, I don't really feel all up for it. It's ideally cost expensive for what it does. It doesn't do as not. The articulation is very limited because you don't really have a lot of articulation for Mickey due to his size and scale. Um, he doesn't move around, so you can't get a lot of dynamic pulls like you could with any other character in the line. So that's a hindrance. Stuff falls out too easily, especially when trying to set up him for poses and pictures. So he like all of his his joints just easily snaps off for some reason i don't know why don't know does that my don't know if it's just my figure or it's just this figure here. but i feel like the his joints especially his shoulder connecting his arms to his shoulder falls out really easy when you're trying to set him up his arms are kind of stuck you don't have a he only has a single joint in the elbow and that doesn't give you a he has no wrist joint so that kind of sucks honestly so you can't move his wrist around to get him better poses so that's kind of that's kind of that that kind of really kind of sucks about that. Yeah, so his little articulation wise, his his cost really are really off. I mean, you could get this if you want to add another Keyblade to your Bring Arts Keyblade collection. Also, really disappointed that this doesn't come with the Kingdom Key D. Like, I feel like they could just throw that thing in there and be like, "Fuck it, it's a repaint of the Kingdom Key." Because you guys already have three of them. Here's just a repaint to make up for that. So yeah, kind of just that this doesn't come with a Kingdom Key D. Really felt they should have thrown that shit in there, like fuck it, you know. Yeah. So above all, yeah, not a real big fan of this. Uh, pick him up if you want. Not, I wouldn't really advocate for picking him up. He doesn't really have a lot going for him. Like I said, this is just due to his size and cost and his limited articulation wise. So I mean, he comes with three head accessory, I guess. That's way more than what. I hold on. How much? Do do Brainerds, how, how many head face accessories do Brainerds normally come with? Two or three, right? Okay, never mind. He's not even that special. So, hey. So, yeah. Really kind of a lackluster figure. Not that great and hype about. Pick him up if you want. If you already have the cameras three Brainerds, I mean, I guess you might as well pick him up, you know. If you're just going to pick him up as is, I mean, probably get someone else. Probably at least 
probably get Riku. If you already have Riku, you get a second Riku, I guess. That's you have way more trade off for getting a second Riku than getting a, getting King Mickey. But off, yeah, not a real big fan of this figure. Kind of sucks. Uh, I was hoping for more. Got way less. Um, Praise China or whatever. Um, oppress Hong Kong protesters. What King Mickey would probably say, you know, makes sense. That seems like something he would say. You know, he would tell you to oppress Hong Kong protester. So above all, yeah, really disappointed. Uh, not much to say. Stay tuned for weird, creepy anime pictures, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.